Welcome to Thoroughbred Racing Action on Sunday afternoon at Gulfstream Park. We've got 10 races on the card. We'll send it upstairs to Pete Aiello with the scratches and the track conditions. The weather is beautiful. Sunny skies with temperatures in the upper 70s. The main track fast, the Tapita track fast, but we are off the turf today. In race one, scratch the one, what's up Buttercup? Racing at Gulfstream. Step slow to break in our time. In the middle, it's Kozanka and my Sarasota Queen. The first two out, moving out the rail, goes on, is forwardly positioned. Up in the center, Good Magic Woman. Wide is Bullet on target. Widest and Asta Quicken already is Field of Blossoms. And after a step slow beginning in our time, is down toward the inside. And on the improve, entire field separated by three lengths with half a mile to run. Goes on at the rail in between horses. It's my Sarasota Queen and out three wide Kozanka. Four wide. Field of Blossoms down inside in our time. She's in a pocket for Bravo and needs a way through. Three back to Bullet on target and Good Magic Woman as they round the far turn. Up front goes on taking plenty of heat. In between horses my Sarasota Queen working very hard. Four wide is Field of Blossoms. Traveling very well behind the speed is in our time. She looks for a way through. 23 and 1 for the quarter. The half and 47 seconds flat in our time trying to muscle between and here she comes now in our time loose for the drive to try to go get goes on goes on an eighth of a mile out two on top in our time asked to finish it up by bravo she's down the center 16th to go in our time on the outside goes on game toward the rail goes on still in front in our time one final push photo finish really tough to tell on the bob there goes on and in our time and a win picture in 112 and four They're off. Bobbling after the start was Dangerous Driver. Good start out wide for Awesome Wind, who tries to clear some inside traffic. Homer Jones is at the rail with flat cap into the top flight. Away in fourth is Guayo. Down at the rail goes Vinny and Leo to race about four lengths behind. He's a length in front of Zaptastic. Back from there, it's Dixie Preach, two in front of Dangerous Driver, and five to the trailer, Cloak and Dagger. And they run around the first turn. It's a very keen, awesome wind. He's running off on the top end. He's off the lead by six. Flat cap is second. Two and a half more to Homer Jones, who's together with Guayo. They're third and fourth behind a rock-solid opening quarter of 23-2. and two. Mid flight early is Zaptastic with Vinny and Leo on his outside, and Dixie preaches to gray three wide. A length and a half to Dangerous Driver and five to the trailer, Cloak and Dagger. Rolling right along here on the run to the half mile point. It's awesome wind. He's been sharp so far. He went 47 and two for the opening half mile and leads by five. Flat cap is second. Homer Jones is at the rail and racing into third from Guayo, who's back to fourth. Winding up from the inside is Dangerous Driver, but he's stuck in traffic. Getting started ahead of him, Dixie Preach. Around the far turn they race. Awesome wins. Lead is a length and a half. Flat cap tightening in. Homer Jones under confident handling. He looms a threat. Two back to Guayo, then Dixie Preach and Zaptastic. A quarter of a mile left to go. Three quarters, 111 and three. Awesome wind bracing for the oncoming Homer Jones, who's up to take over. Now there's three sixteenths to go, and Homer Jones has the lead. Guayo runs at him on the outside. Dixie preaches up to third. Dangerous driver loose late, but far too late. Homer Jones under light handling. He's wanting to get in a touch, but he's also clear to the wire. Homer Jones to win it under Irad by three. Guayo second, dangerous driver third. Dixie preaches fourth in 140 and two.
The Florida Thoroughbred Breeders and Owners Association invites you to be inspired. Breed in a place like no other. Prepare at world-class training centers. Race in the sunshine. And they're off in the Dr. Figure. Be inspired. They're off and running. Stumbling and unseating the rider was Martha May Huvier. The seven is out of the race. So they make their way to the half mile point. The leader is Sassy Charlie, clear by two. Adios Babe is second from Mimi's Gold Ring in third. Prince of P is out sprinted today. Awesome Anne Marie's out in the center, separated by three and a half lengths in the run to the half mile point. The leader is still Sassy Charlie, three parts better than Adios Babe, who's close today and on the attack early. Three wide Mimi's gold ring sliding through at the inside Principia and deciding where she wants to race is Awesome Anne Marie. Last of all, again unseating the rider at the break was Martha May Huvier. They passed the 5 16th. The leader is Sassy Charlie and Jose Ortiz by a neck. Adios Babe turning up the heat in second. Back to third, that's Principia trying to wind up from the outside is Awesome Anne Marie and they're at the top of the stretch. They went 45 and 4 for the opening half mile. Adios Babe, she has the lead and she's indeed wished this field a play. Pleasant Sunday, good afternoon. The battle strictly for second. Awesome Anne Marie charging hard. I think she's going to get second, but Powder Pop Racing and Jenny Young hook up here with Adios Babe, a stylish third race winner. Adios Babe by four in the end. Second, Awesome Anne Marie. Third was Principia. Fourth was Sassy Charlie. They're off. Good start for Decisive Pride from down toward the inside. Nanga Parbot has a bit of speed. Up in the center, Sutter Southern Civility works over with Daring Reason into the top flight, racing into fourth. Outside Wild Flight and Jake's Affection is four wide to the first turn run, followed by a trio of Phobia, Paradise Drive, and the race favorite, Barry the Builder. Please Baby is the gray second last and three back to the trailer, T.O. Tony. And the run past the opening quarter, Edwin Gonzalez has decisive pride in front three parts of length. Southern Civility is second. Jake's affection on the outside is now third from Daring Reason, who's racing between horses. Down at the inside, it's Nanga Parbot with Wild Flight in the orange on the far outside. A length and a half to Phobia in front of Barry the Builder. Then it's Paradise Drive and Please Baby. Still the trailer, T.O. Tony. They make their way to the half-mile point. Decisive pride has the lead three parts of length. Southern Civility is second. Out in the middle, that's uh, improving Jake's affection into third from Nanga Parbot in fourth. Racing fifth is Daring Reason. Down at the rail goes Phobia. Then Wild Flight getting started from the back is T.O. Tony. Pink colors three wide. Barry the Builder hemmed in traffic through a 47 and three half mile. Decisive Pride tries to sneak away. At the 5 16th, he's on top by two and a half. Clear racetrack shown to Daring Reason, who's up to second. Right alongside him is Jake's Affection. Phobia hooks to the outside. Far outside, it's Please Baby as they converge on Decisive Pride. Three quarters, 112 and one. They're at the top of the stretch. Decisive Decisive Pride has the lead on the far outside, Please Baby. In between horses, Daring Reason with Phobia. They come past the eighth pole, Please Baby. Down the center for Jorge Ruiz, closing good ground. And Please Baby has taken a clear lead. It's Please Baby and jockey Jorge Ruiz to win by three. Phobia second, Decisive Pride clings to third. Tio Tony is fourth in 143 and three. And they're off. 
Harrington was away well, so was St. Joe Lewis. Mr. Abario using some speed from down toward the inside. Away in fourth is Diamond Mesa. Then back to the rail, Mr. Brizel. Palace View is at the back of the field as they charge into the first turn. Down at the inside, it's Mr. Abario and Jose Ortiz who have it by almost a length. St. Joe Lewis in a flanking position second. Mr. Brizel improves at the rail into third. Harrington's on the outside fourth from Diamond Mesa, who's in the lime green. And the trailer is Palace View. Opening quarter complete in 24 seconds flat. Less than six furlongs to run in the race. Mr. Rabario, three parts of a length. St. Joe Lewis second, Mr. Brizel and Harrington together third and fourth. Two back to Diamond Mesa, who's now fifth. And unhurried at the back is Palace View, last of the lot. They have four and a half furlongs to run. Up front, it's still Mr. Rabario the target. They're three parts better than St. Joe Lewis. These two have not traded spots yet through a 48 and one half mile. Up three wide is Harrington. Mr. Brizel is at the rail. Two better than Palace View and Diamond Mace is at the back. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Three furlongs from home. Mr. Rabario nursing a neck lead. St. Joe Lewis goes on the attack now. Second, three wide. Harrington is there. Third at the rail. Mr. Brizel. Palace View is next as they wind their way to the top of the stretch. Now there's a quarter of a mile left to go, and the leader is Mr. Rabario by almost a length again. St. Joe Lewis is second. From the outside, Palace View starts to play his hand. Mr. Brizel down at the rail. He's closing good ground. There's an eighth of a mile to go. The leader is Mr. Rabario. Palace View and Mr. Brizel. They both take their shots. Here comes Palace. Palace View on the outside. Palace View surging forward now. He's in front and going away for Team Valor. Palace View wins. Mr. Brizel's up for play the second spot for Mr. Abario third in 142 and 2. Outside, hoping him quick off the blocks as he always is, and he'll clear to the rail with pretty little problem here. He's on top by two. Racing second is Super Success from Outlaw Country, who's in a flanking position, and in between horses, Bohemian Boy. Back from there, it's Kid Forrest, who's on the far outside, fights toward the rail, and not keeping up all at all early is Dragon's Brew. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Hope and Ham at four to five in front by a length and a half. Super success in Outlaw Country chasing second and third. Up to fourth goes Kid Forrester. He's only about three lengths off the speed with fight alongside. Then Bohemian Boy as they run to the top of the stretch. 22 and three for the opening quarter. Hope and Ham has the lead. Hope and Ham to the top of the stretch by a length and a half. Coming off the inside is super success to try to go get him. Outlaw Country is next. Kid Forrester on the far outside. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Hope and Ham still rolling here. He's on now on top by two and a half. Outlaw Country tries to catch super success for second, but Hope and Ham is clear. Hope and Ham in front. Outlaw Country second, super success third, and Kid Forrester fourth. And they're off. Fortuna Bell gets the first call. With Love and Make Sense up near the lead today. She's in a great spot early. Down at the inside goes Clay Soldier, who's away in third. Gitana's in fourth. Starship Sunrise comes away in fifth, ahead of Avatar Hero. The early trailer is Speed Salsa. 
and they run past the half mile point. The favorites are first and second. Fortuna Bell has the lead. Love and Make Sense on the muscle for Gaff Leon in second. A gap of three to the team of Speed Salsa, rather at the rail clay soldier in between Gitana. Three wide starship Sunrise. Then it's back to Avatar Hero and Speed Salsa is last. They run to the top of the stretch through a 22 and 3 opening quarter. Lovin makes sense, making a bold bid after Fortuna Bell, who fights to hold it. Clay Soldier is with Gitana, third and fourth, floating out Starship Sunrise. They're at the top of the stretch. On the inside, Fortuna Bell's battled back from Lovin makes sense. Down the center in Gitana with Clay Soldier coming on. Final 16th of a mile, and up front it's Fortuna Bell who has it. Clay Soldier and Gitana charging late. Here comes Gitana, here comes uh, Clay Soldier. Here's the wire photo! Photo finish. The photos between Fortuna Bell and Gitana. Clay Soldier is third. Loving makes sense. Empty. 103 and 2. Racing and the melody of color stakes. Picture perfect start. They're across the course early. El Torreno and Tiger Bell, the first to spar with three wide running. Twirling Queen on the go. Away in fourth is Correa, then let them watch and Dot angling over is Pretty Liam. To the far turn they go. El Torreno has the lead, but she's hard used with Twirling Queen alongside second. Here's Correa bidding up to challenge for third with Tiger Bell along the inside. Two back to Pretty Liam, then it's let them watch and Dot. 21 and 2 for a robust opening quarter speed around the far turn they go. Up front, here's the move from Correa. Three wide to take on El Torreno with Twirling Queen in between them. Tiger Bell is next, hooking to the outside. That's pretty Liam, and they're at the top of the stretch. It's now Twirling Queen who comes away with the lead a quarter of a mile from home. Taking aim is Correa second. Three back to pretty Liam. She's trying to gather in the top two, but Twirling Queen is 13 to 1. Correa tries to get her. Twirling Queen or Correa. Twirling Queen just in front. Correa can't reach her. Twirling Queen springs the upset. Correa was second. Pretty Liam ran third. Tiger Bell's fourth. This favorite, El Torreno. Last. 56 and 1. Coast Pick 5. $1 minimum. Player-friendly 15% takeout. Coast to Coast Pick 5. Every weekend. There, Immigate. the far outside, it's Candyman Rocket and River Dog, the first two go to go, and now moving up is Sweet Cherry Pie on the go. At the rail, that's the gray rock crest into the top flight. He's about three lengths behind. Collaborates in the pink colors working between horses ahead of Scoot Daddy. Then it's Cool Kiss and Avant Glory. Out the back, Cal Kokipu as they make their way to the opening quarter mark. The leader is River Dog on top to the far turn. The opening quarter, 22 and 2. From the inside, Rockcrest now second. Collaborate is in the pink third. Candyman Rockets in the red fourth. Shuffled back to fifth is Sweet Cherry Pie. A gap of a length and a half to Scoot Daddy, who's with the top flight. Five ahead of Avant Glory, then Cool Kiss. And the trailer remains Cow Poo as they make their way to the top of the stretch. 
Up front, Rockcrest inside, Riverdog outside, Candyman Rocket. He's going to have to go to work from there. He's under pretty confident handling, but about three lengths off the lead as they straighten for the drive. Up front, it's still Rockcrest doing battle with Riverdog. Down the center, Candyman Rocket. Loose between horses, Sweet Cherry Pie with Collaborate. Far outside, here comes the Scoot Daddy. Who do you like here? Sweet Cherry Pie surging forward. He's got the late kick, and he's a winner. Sweet Cherry Pie wins. Collaborate with second. It's closer for third. Either Rockcrest or Scoot Daddy, Candyman Rocket, empty, 110 flat. Away. Slow to start, both Centuria and Saturine. Quick to start, the Glen Hill runner, Rogers Park, who's headed off for the early advantage with Marion Cross holding inside position. Up in the middle, it's on Moonlight Bay, who's now racing in third. Off the inside and into fourth goes Positive Carry, floating out Magra. Then it's a length and a half to Curlin's Girl. A gap of two more to Privacy Setting, mid-flight about seven lengths behind. Quality Presence is next. A gap of three more to Malibu Katie, who lingers toward the back of the field. The two at the back, Saturine, and five to the trailer, Centuria. To the back stretch they go. The opening quarter was 23 and 3. Rogers Park at a big price leads three parts of a length on Moonlight Bay is second. At the rail, Marion Cross has traveled well in the early stages, racing in third from Positive Carry and Magra. They're fourth and fifth. Then back to Curlin's Girl, two in front of Quality Presence with Privacy setting toward the inside. A length and a half to Malibu Katie, who's two in front of Saturine, and still about a length and a half to the trailer Centuria, who's a bit closer at the back with pace ahead of her through a 47 and two opening half mile. Around the far turn they go. It's Rogers Park in front, three parts of a length on Moonlight Bay is second. Ruiz needs racetrack for Marion Cross, third at the inside while trying to thread the needle here. Outside fourth and Magra, positive carry, deciding who she wants to follow. Two back to Curlin's girl, trying to wind it up from the back is Centuria. She's underway in the blue cap. Off the turn and the stretch drive. Room inside for Marion Cross, who takes the lead. On her back and down inside is positive carry. Down the center and Curlin's girl on Moonlight Bay with them. Final 16 of a mile on Moonlight Bay. Curlin's Girl down the stand side. It's Curlin's Girl who hits the front late on Moonlight Bay second behind Curlin's Girl who gets the job done. On Moonlight Bay so it was second, third. Appeared to be positive carry over Centuria who rallied from last for fourth in 142 and three. That wraps up Sunday racing here at Gulfstream. We'll be back with you on Wednesday as we kick off Curlin Florida Derby Week. Hope to see you out here.